Welcome back to the Return to Raven Creek series. I'm Fire Nation and this is Project Zomboid. Thank you for joining me and welcome to another fantastic day with our gal, Bessie Foss. So it looks like spring uh, showers have now come in and we've been working on the base a lot lately. We do need to build a big old crate wall over here. We're going to need a lot of wood for that. Um, I do have a few of these big gun lockers. Also, we're going to have to move all of our firearms and ammo out of there into here. And there are some tra uh, skills, trapping, foraging, fishing that we haven't really touched in a long time. So I do want to get... Fishing's going to have to be one of those things that we just do on the fly as we go. We need to set up a secure fishing area up on the river that way. But trapping, we can do. We also need to read the trapping, what, three book? And if I remember right, I put all my books over here. So let me see if I've got that. Trapping four, five, ooh. We might have to go to a bookstore and see if we can find the trapping three book. Right? One and two and three. Yeah. Unless I have it somewhere in here I don't know if I do though I could have swore I had what about that shelf no okay well in the morning we'll duck on over to the bookstore that's just right down the street we could even walk there we also need to make some new traps uh, and I liked where are they I guess the, the cage traps they just use wire so let's see if we got any more wire. I know I have some. I don't know if I have enough to make two or three of them. But I definitely have some in here somewhere. Also, is our electrical skill buffed right now? It is. Let's dismantle these and just get them out of here. Barbed wire. There's no wire in there. Oh, wait. No, there is. Yeah. All right. Let's take that wire. We'll put that in our backpack. A little bit of lag there. Jeez. Put that in our backpack. Transfer these. Got a nice green light bulb. Oh, man. These crates over here are getting full. Okay. And let's check. I thought I saw... Nope, that's barbed wire. Turn proximity back on. I thought I saw some more wire. It might be out front in our refrigerators. We can also check this back half. Let's see, what do we got? There's more fishing line there. So in order to do fishing, I'm going to have to set up a secure kind of fishing area. Because there's no way in hell I'm just doing it out in the open. Not on a character like this. She's way too precious. She's my record, hold, record holding survivor in 8 months, 27 days. She is one hell of a boss, because her name is Bessie Faust. Oh. You got any wire up and chirp 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 chirp? Got some more dirty rags in there we can clean. In case we need more ripped sheets. Really, I'm out of wire, eh? Also, we have a ton of nails there. I'm going to grab them because we'll have to make... Make do with, uh... Oh, trapping three right there. Yes! We'll have to make do. Let's go ahead and favorite that. Using the wooden box traps. More fishing gear in there I need to put away. There's another machete I haven't ever repaired, too. Awesome. Okay. Well, I don't have any planks now, do I? Do I? Did I leave them over here? No, I use them. That's right. Okay. So, let's go ahead and make what we can. Oh, we can make three of these. Five units of wire. So each spool must have multiple units. Good. Well, that's all we really need. And I can probably... No. All right. Yeah, it has to be in your main inventory to consolidate. Yeah, consolidate all. I can make another one like that, too. All right, but we'll save this stuff. And we'll put it over here. That way I know where it's at. In case I need to make more traps. Next thing we need to do is go grab some bait. Uh, we'll do that in the morning. Yeah, we'll do that in the morning. However, the time has come for me to record for the work week. 
I need to get uh, ahead on videos so that when it comes time to live stream, whoops, I haven't had to record eight, five or six videos in a row and then <clears throat> stream. So I'm just going to keep you guys with me, but I will speed up time on some of the more monotonous stuff. We should be able to get through Trapping 3 fairly quick. Yeah. And we don't need sleeping pills quite yet. Because we're just hanging out around the base. Let's go to bed and lie down. Yes, get a good night's sleep. When I very first started this game, I used to take my survivor's backpack and their weapons off and their pants and shirt and I would go to sleep. I don't know, just kind of role playing it. You know what I mean? It was fun. And... So we'll get skill doing trapping, and we'll also get skill for cooking. Turn that frame rate off. By catching the animals and cooking up some meals. Now, I, I have a ton of canned food. Oh, the bait. I have a stupid amount of canned food, and I could just utilize that, but... Why not, uh... There we go, there's some carrots. Let's just grab... I don't know. That's fine. 32. Yeah, why not level up trapping at the same time? It'll just be a slow burn. And we get better stats out of our meals. There's probably going to come a time where I just power level cooking. I don't know, making bowls of cereal or... Or salads or fruit, fruit things. The bowls of sliced fruit. I can't remember. It's been a while. Um, so let's... How do we do this? All right, you have to do it from the ground. Cage trap. All right, there. And then I always think you have to click on it in your inventory, but no, right there. And one more. I've always just placed them together in a line like this and they work perfectly fine for me. Put some bait into them. And there we go. All right, let's head back to base. We'll let that do its thing for a couple days. We need to eat anyways. I'm, I still have some frozen game meat in the freezer back home, so. And I still have a stupid amount of vegetables as well. Uh, namely cabbage, strawberries, potatoes, and radishes. So I don't really need to start farming yet. Almost level 7 in farming. Nice. Okay. What I'm going to do is take all of this, put it in the fridge. We're going to get rid of all the rotten stuff. You're rotten. Put those carrots in the fridge. And we're going to do some cooking. We'll get those rabbit meats thawed out. Alright. What else do I have in the freezer? You, I need to go around my loot containers and grab all the, uh, actually I don't want to use the carrots. We need to save those for trapping. Put those in here. We'll use the potatoes and the radishes and the tomatoes. Those in here. I need to gather up all my skillets and roasting pans. 106 radishes, good god. Okay, I think there's enough veggies in here for the time being. Yeah, that should be plenty. Okay, let's go drop this stuff off at the compost bin. I already put a lot in there from when we were gone. So this is going to be doing its thing. There's that rotten rabbit meat that we had. Um, You know what? Carrots take a fair amount of time to grow and we do need them for trapping so let's just sow a couple of seeds why not we'll do like four patches there we go we'll get a little bit of farming skill from that i assume the hardest not there the hardest skill really to level up for us is probably going to be out of the skill sets like the fishing trapping that sort of thing Probably fishing and foraging. Well, I don't know. You can actively do those. You can't actively do trapping. 
Crapping's kind of, you set it there and then you get what you get. If you get lucky, you get multiple things. If you don't, you only get one or two. Also, is this thing plugged in? Okay, no, it's not. I need to bring another freezer in here. So let's go clear one out. Uh, put my book away, put my hammer away. And my machete into my backpack. We should have enough space in our inventory now. Maybe. I've got these two bad boys right over here. We'll move all of this. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to take it out. There's not enough room in here. Freaking 20 something metal pipes. Uh, oh, there was some, some more metal sheets. Yeah, yeah. Thought I didn't have any more. That's almost full. Let's just fill it up. And you put the metalworking supplies out here. Okay. And you get this stuff in here. The loot organizing and stuff, it's getting to be so much that I can't do it off camera. I don't have enough time. Um, metal sheet. Let's take the fishing stuff out. We'll put the metal sheets in its place if I can. Dang. Take these out. Take the survival knives out. Toilet paper doesn't belong in there. Books. And where'd that metal sheet go? There we go. All right, we got a ton of posters to hang up, so let's put those in our main inventory. See if we can fit these now. There we go. And this gas can can just go on the ground with the other ones. There, perfect. And I gotta look for more propane tanks too. We're down to like three or four. Let's go through, put the posters up. Um, uh, place. I got a bunch of base deco. Like, there's stuff on the wall over here that I need to set up. And then there's... Uh, the stuff that I have in my inventory. There's probably even more stuff in the crate wall in the garage. Dr. Oid's poster. I'll put this in my room. Yeah. The Moon of Nights poster. If you haven't ever watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force. It's the greatest show in the world. Really funny. Then a pause poster. We can put that in here. I even want to get a desk in here and have a computer. Romance poster. We'll put that in the gym. How about that? Also, I need to see if there's any more exercise equipment up at that house where we got this stuff from. I think there might be. I think there might be. HK MP5. Uh, that can go in here. If it'll fit. Nope. Nope. There we go. More olive oil. This needs to go into our construction supplies. So we'll bring it there. And then we'll put the fishing stuff away. I've totally lost what I initially planned to do. <laughs> I've just gone off on a tangent. Everything's in the wrong spots. My OCD's going crazy. These books need to go into our bookcase here. Uh, you, no, you two, put them in there. All right, and I've got a spot for all my fishing gear. We're gonna have to set up a little fishing lodge soon, right here. All this stuff. Ugh. It's full. Hey, there's another wood axe! I, I really need to organize stuff. I was looking for those wood axes not too long ago for a long time. And I couldn't find them and yeah, come to find out they're over here with the fishing stuff. Got VHS tapes in here, man. Ugh. Alright, but I'm not going to do all this on camera. Uh, what were we originally going to do? We did the traps. We should do some cooking. Put this pipe wrench over here. Toilet paper can go inside. Thread belongs in our room for making carpets. Oh boy. And I was gonna move that fridge. Totally forgot about that too. 
All right, you go in there. That can go by our fireplace, the wood axe. I need to put this back here so I don't keep forgetting about it. Yeah, we got four wood axes. This machete is our current using one, so we'll keep that. You know, we'll keep these survival knives too. Because that's usually what I rock with in my hotbar. Alright. And this is kind of my... Not garbage can, but garbage can. Where I put all my fire lighting materials. Put these in here. Just delete that. Clean up a little bit. Awesome. We got our nails. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. The fridge. Let's move that into the base. The sooner I can start utilizing that kitchen, the better. I've got a lot more room in there to put stuff. Too heavy for inventory. Oh, because I have this axe. Alright, you're going in here for now, buddy. We're also starving. That's okay, I'll get some food in a minute. There we go. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah, I want to at least have two fridges in here. Well, we're definitely going to have more, but for now, at least two fridges. Place. Right there. And it does reach the generator. Let's unplug it so we're not utilizing that. So we've got two fridges and an icy cooler in here. That's pretty good. I think that's enough. Okay. So let's go get some cooking skill. Do we have... Yeah, we're almost level 6 in cooking. And then we can read the next book. Cool. Let's see. Is this stuff defrosted yet? Yes, it has. Awesome. We'll just go straight to the table here. And there's our cooking floor book ready to go for the, for the next uh, skill ups. It's been a while. Been ages since... I've read any of my cooking books or uh, books, skill books for that matter. So we'll do three vegetables. No, I'm glad that was just vegetables. Great stir fry, stir fry, <laughs> stir fry. <laughs> All right, three bits of random vegetables and three bits of random game. This time don't eat it because that can kill us. Okay, and then I'm not even going to bother with condiments. I'm just going to cook stuff up to get rid of some of our back stock. Because I've got way too much crap. Three helpings of vegetables. Three helpings of game. There we go. Put that in the oven. do another one and three and then game I wish there was like pre-selected things like you could just click something once and get a game and vegetable stir fry not having to click for each individual item all right three bits of game three bits of vegetables Okay, it's using the carrots. I don't care. We're growing more. There's still more game. Oh my god. A couple of those rabbits were probably some hefty boys. So we're doing it, man. We're living off the lay. We are set up for longevity. All right, you go into the oven. There's still more rabbit. Two. Three. Oh my god. We got the Energizer Bunny in there. He's just going. Okay, we're down to one pan left. Please use up all the game. Yes, okay. Let's do three vegetables here. And then we'll open up a can. Do we have any canned corned beef ash? Oh, I've got two more frying pans here. Good, good. And chili. 
Let's turn this on. I know I've got canned spaghetti blog. That'll work. And that'll be our last two units of meat for this. Or however many we can put in there. Two. Perfect. Alright, let's toss this bad boy in here. Oh, is it full? Yeah, it's full. Okay, turn that on, and we'll do some reading on our trapping book. Get the double whammy. Okay. Select that so we can see. Speed up time. Bada bing. Turn you off. Grab these into the backpack. And then we'll make, I guess, two more. We've got a ton of supplies. Actually, let's put these straight into here to freeze. Perfect. And grab a couple more cans. One, two, three, four. All right, then we'll go over here and open them. We can just do open all. Awesome. Okay, and you need to go in the oven. Let's create stir fry, random meat. Yep, there we go. Random meat, and then random vegetables. And we'll put that in here. How's our cooking going? We're almost to the level. Nice. Okay. One vegetable. Two vegetable. Three. And one meat. Two meat. And uh, three meat. Now you can go in there. I've got to have some other pans somewhere. I know I have some in my crate wall. That I accidentally transferred in there once upon a time. Uh, baking pan, cooking pot. Let's eat, uh, how's our calories? 80 going down. Okay, so we won't eat that. Also, we need to find a better spot for our vinegar so it doesn't get utilized in cooking. Because when you select a random condiment, it'll sometimes get used. Also, we can get all this out of here at some point. Let's just have a can of soda couple cans of soda there we go and some tortilla chips get rid of some of this other crap all right so we'll go drop all these cans off and I know I have at least one more skillet or roasting pan up in this crate wall somewhere we'll try to grab that use up the stuff that we opened I keep feeling like I'm hearing a zombie yeah we've got more food than what will fit in there. We need to use up a, some of it. We've been collecting food and crap for eight months and just cramming it in these boxes. <laughs> uh, they're overflowing at this point. There's a roasting pan. Perfect. Awesome. So let's random meat. Uh, right there. Perfect. So we got two helpings of meat in there. So we'll put three vegetables and call it good. That way we don't have to open anything else up. Vegetable, vegetable, vegetable. All right, toss you in there. Turn proximity back off, turn that on. Read this. All right, let's get the skill. I didn't get the level up off that, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. I unplugged this freezer, by the way. <clears throat> Just so I could create more room. Let's move all the vegetables into this one. And I guess we could bring one of these with us. Why not? We'll have to drop off these nails. Favorite those. Okay, what's next? It's 6.20 p.m. I think I'm going to read for the rest of the night, and I'll reconvene with you guys tomorrow. Maybe we'll do some scouting to uh, see where, we're, where we want to set up a fishing spot. I, I think I know a good spot. So, 
I'll see you tomorrow morning. Be right back. Good morning, survivors, and welcome back. We got, yeah, a little more than halfway through our trapping book last night. Oh. Wow, it's foggy out. Okay. When I ended the last portion of my recording, I was like, eh, it's probably only 10 minutes. 25 minutes had gone by. <laughs> Me just running around the base doing crap. Um, I want to make sure I turn the oven off. What else can we make? Let's grab these bowls. And I know I've got some canned fruit. Maybe we can make... Can I make anything, can I make anything with these? Salad. Oh, yes, salad. I just want to get that level up. We're so close to cooking six, and then I can read the new book. Oh, yes, salads. And put a ton of crap in these. I don't even care um, to eat them. Let's finish them and then transfer them into our backpack. I just want the cooking skill out of it. Because I know if you put more than three whatever's into a whatever, it reduces that the happiness factor. I don't know if that's true for salads, but I assume so. And we're using up some of these vegetables. We need to get rid of them. They've been in here for so long. Yes, there's cooking six. Yes, so now we can read the cooking four book. Okay, let's eat this salad. Mmm. And then we'll toss. <laughs> toss. Get it? <laughs> the other salad's in here. One, two, three. Perfect. All right. Now I got to carry two books on me. We need to finish trapping three. Uh, we'll f nope. Favorite that. You know what? Let's just do it real quick. I need to get this done before I go check my traps so we can get the maximum amount of skill out of it. And we're almost there. Doesn't take too long when you're going at... What is this? Three times speed? Four times speed? I don't know. Maximum speed. Come on. A couple more pages. Perfect. Unfavorite that. Toss it in the garbo. You are now done. Thank you for your service, kind sir. Okay. Boom. Put that bowl up. Let's go see if there's any more exercise equipment or some deco that I want to grab out of these houses up here. And also go scout uh, towards the river that way. So I think I found the exercise gear in here. Uh, we need a weapon. I ain't about to walk up in and no houses without no weapons. So let's attach this stuff to our belt. There we go. Even though these houses have been long clear, I don't trust anything. There's a couple paintings in here. There's another weight bench. Awesome. Let's bring that out front. And I did find dumbbells. No, not this dumbbell. I found actual dumbbells in the game, so we can utilize these benches, I think. I don't know if it gets extra fitness gain or not. I assume it would, because they're rather hard to find. I've only found, I think, two. Two or three dumbbells in the entirety of my PZ career. But I also don't really loot gyms and stuff like that. There's a bunch of food up in here, man. Ugh, I don't even need it. I don't need more food. This was a survivor's house. There's a ton of food in here. Uh, I will take that roasting pan. And the saucy pan. Thank you. Alright, just some drinks in there. Fair enough, fair enough. I think I got enough garbage cans. Let's continue down this way. Uh, I don't think there's anything in there I want. Let's go over to the river. And in my last Raven Creek run, this is where I set up my my uh, fishing hut, too. It's a good spot. Minus the giant buildings nearby. That could be chock full of zombies. But I'm pretty sure we already cleared this one out because there's a prepper house on top of it. Yeah, straight out here. 
we can chop all these trees down and build a wood floor so they don't grow back. However, I did learn some things last time I tried to build. I need a flat edge. Because when I tried to build over the water, the building just got all wonky. This could work right here. What is this? One, two, three tiles? Yeah. This could work fine right here. I'm going to mark this. It doesn't need to be huge. Well. We can make whatever we want. I don't know. Maybe eventually. But yeah, we need a flat edge. Right here. Fishing. And we'll mark our exact location with that. Oh, Ooh, there's that spot down there. This would require a bit more work, a lot more work to get to. Unless we just come straight kitty corner through there. Let's mark this down. Add note. Big flat spot. Awesome. It goes like from here to here. So then I could build something nice off of this. Because when I tried to build over these angles and stuff, it wouldn't let me build out. And part of the water was clipping through. It just looked like trash. Should have grabbed some of that. Oh no, I got I got food. I got food. Okay. So we've got some goals set up. I've got some skill books to read. Now we'll get maximum skill off of the next things we catch out of the, the rabbits. So I'm going to head back to base and I'm probably going to read my cooking four book for the rest of the day. It's foggy. I don't want to move outside. Well, that's going away now. Call me a liar game. It's my old house. And my other return to rape or my other Raven Creek run. If you haven't seen that, Adrian House. He was a beast. We had a lot of fun on that run. If you find yourself enjoying the content, leave a like and consider subscribing. You're one click away from joining the Fire Nation Army. Together, we will rule the apocalypse of Knox County. Right now, it's Raven Creek, and it's Bessie Foss's time to shine. Her time in the spotlight. 8 months, 29 days, 17 hours, 14,982 Bambinos dispatched. There's a look at their, her skills so far. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day out there, all you beautiful survivors. Keep it strappy, brappy.